you know i mean you no country is ever going to come out of a difficult situation and become a prosperous power if its basic industry is terrorist and just as you know a country has to fix its uh, economic issues a country has to fix its political issues too a country has to fix its social issues others cannot solve a problem if you're not prepared to solve it yourself neighborhood first policy there's one country to which you sent me as ambassador high commissioner to our west uh, called pakistan with which we have nothing to do which we are doing nothing about so you know at this point of time when pakistan is going through some economic difficulties do you think uh, this is a point when there can be some kind of rapprochement between india and pakistan you know uh, look Uh, obviously it's in nobody's interest that any country least of all a neighboring country get into uh, severe economic difficulties you know nobody nobody sensible nobody mature would even nurse that thought but it's an equal fact that when people any country gets into a serious economic problem that country has to make policy choices and governance decisions to get themselves out of it you know another country neighbor or non neighbor or another institution others cannot solve a problem if you're not prepared to solve it yourself so let's be clear on the first point which is that the solution this is not a pakistan point it's a generic global point any country in deep economic difficulties has to come out of it through i mean what the world can do is to provide options and support systems but the the bottom line has to be done by that country and often it will require very tough choices now uh, i want all of us to remember we went through this 30 years ago so it's not something which happens to other people it also happened to us it happened to us not once it happened to us maybe not with the same severity at various other points of time uh, in our uh, modern history uh, as well but having said that the reality of this particular relationship is that it has a fundamental issue which we cannot and we must not avoid and that issue is that of terrorism because the moment you start doing this walk around that you know let's find a joint statement which will uh, pay you know which will get us agreed language you know let us reach out at this point and see where this goes that's been the talk of the last 75 years and look where it got us so i think we need clarity that and we we mustn't be in denial uh, of of what our uh, very fundamental rea- problems in that re- relationship and just as you know a country has to fix its uh, economic issues a country has to fix its political issues too a country has to fix its social issues you know i mean you c- no country is ever going to come out of a difficult situation and become a prosperous power if its basic industry is terrorist so they you know the, among the changes which need to be made are also changes pertaining uh, to 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 all of that so i think that remains uh, a very major problem i also think you know as today as a as someone in politics if i were to uh, look at any uh, big decision i'm making i would also look at what is the public sentiment you know i would have a pulse what do my people feel about it and i think you know the answer